Hello, everyone. Welcome to SIA Tech Chats. I'm Rihanna Collier, and I'm joined this week by Manish Gupta, co-founder and CEO of You Certify. Now, You Certify provides a comprehensive career and vocational training solution. Manish, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Rihanna, and thanks, and hi, everyone. Why don't you start by, um, can you tell us a little bit about the You Certify technology? Uh, absolutely, Rihanna. So You Certify is end-to-end -end solution, and this is one of the reasons why schools like us, that everything in one place. So we have interactive lessons uh, that comes complete with knowledge checks, flashcards, quizzes, exercises, um, and we have simulations. Um, some of them are very immersive. Uh, we have virtual labs, so real uh, real equipment that students can access uh, through browser. Um, and we have complete test prep uh, with the autopilot feature uh, called Prep Engine uh, that enables them to, if it is for a certification, enables them to learn uh, and, and, and hope, hope they do better with certifications. Um, in addition, uh, you certify courses can be delivered uh, self-paced, mentor-guided, uh, which is quite useful for competency-based education, as well as uh, with uh, as instructor-led. Um, these courses uh, can be delivered on ground, um, online, or some kind of a hybrid fashion, um, and then uh, comes with quite a bit of analytics and, and quite a bit of uh, planning and planner, what we call a study planner. So all of that together. Uh, as one package. And by the way, it can be delivered anytime, anywhere. So essentially, it can be on browser, as well as uh, it can be delivered um, using a I iOS uh, iPhone or uh, a Android phone. In the new delivery models, how, how has the higher ed market changed since the adoption of cloud solutions like you certify? And where, and where do you think the market's headed? Um, so we can talk about cloud solutions and we can talk about digital solutions. Uh, to me, the main change is this. Uh, about even five years ago, think about textbooks. Think about, think about that it is just about uh, delivering some text and some images. And the biggest thing you could do to have it color or black and white, you could decide that that was, that was the option and that's pretty much it, right? Um, so now you could do a lot more. And, and honestly, if you had a chance, you will learn things by doing. The only problem was that it was so expensive to do. But with new digital solutions and cloud solutions, it is now possible to provide an environment where students actually learn by doing things. And I think that's a big, big difference. Um, now it brings its own challenges. Uh, so that essentially means that now our educators need to be trained in new technologies so that they can utilize it fully. So it requires a very different kind of support system. And it also requires a very different kind of selling system. It's no longer selling textbooks. It's very different. It's essentially selling a software system, uh, which can be challenging sometimes. And I believe we will continue to move in that direction. We are going to get involved with more immersive game-like environments, and we are going to involve in virtual reality, just to name a few things that we, as well as other companies, are working on as we speak. Now, one of the things as I talk to a lot of CEOs out there, one of their biggest challenges is, is good talent, getting in and keeping good talent. Are you seeing a rise in workforce development and training programs as the need for that good talent continues to be a challenge for, for many companies? I can tell you one thing. If you talk to a good CEO, one complaint that he or she will always have is they're not finding good people. It is in the nature. It is something that we thrive on, and it has to happen that way. So in honesty, where was the need when? Where was the time when we did not need good talent? It's not the problem. Good talent is not an issue. And, and our, our, in other words, it's always an issue. Uh, I think the bigger um, thing that we need to think about, can are we delivering as, as a technology companies, education technology companies like us and the schools and our publishers and all of us, are we t delivering the right kind of solutions and right kind of education? I think the bigger problem is the skill gap. What industry wants and what we are providing them with? I think that's the biggest challenge. 
And, uh, and again, I will go back to the same thing. If we can train our people better, we're going to be better off. Um, and, and this need from, from industry that we hear loud and clear will at least we will start making some progress towards solving that. Now, having said that, um, another important aspect here is, is to also see what is changing and how we are working. There was a time when you did your education, you went to uh, start working with, uh, with a company and you were there for a long time and then you retired and that's pretty much it. You never went back to school. The problem is now software businesses eating all other kinds of businesses. Amazon, Uber, Airbnb, these are all software companies now. They're not a, a cab provider, they're not a hotel company, and they're definitely not a retailer. They're all software companies, meaning the workforce that we are going to need will have to continuously learn new things. And how do you deliver that? I think we got to start thinking about that because working during uh, working and learning is going to happen together. It's about lifelong learning now, if somebody wants to be successful in their career. So again, that's how it is going to change, in my opinion. Manish, before I let you go, I have to just mention this year's amazing Cody season for you, especially because I can see them right behind you there in your office. You guys won seven Cody Awards. That's a tremendous feat, as it's not easy to win one, let alone seven. What, what has this meant for you and your team? Uh, so first of all, I'm very thankful, and not just not me, we, everybody at U Certify, is very thankful to SIIA, to SIIA members, and we are a proud member, as well as uh, to Cody judges. Uh, and we have been, we have worked hard for this, but also we have been lucky. And, uh, and, and we are so lucky that we actually won our first Cody in 2014. 2013, I came to know about Cody's in a Cody award ceremony, and I promised myself, this is a disservice to you, certify. We should have been there, and we were not. So I kind of, you know, beat myself up on that one a little bit in 2013. 2014, we won one Cody, our very first Cody, and that's very dear to me, a first award uh, for post-secondary education. Um, and in 2000. 16, uh, sorry, 2015, we won seven CODIs. Uh, that included uh, the best education award, and that was a really good night for us. Um, and then, of course, we repeated in 2016. So about 15 CODIs in in last three years, and we are very proud of uh, what what has happened. And partly because, see, what it does, what CODI does, is to actually level the playing field. We have amazing companies uh, who are doing great work. Now, some of them are more famous, some of them are more established, some of them are not. And we are in the later part. We are the ones who are the new ones trying to make a difference. So having a platform where we can show off what we can do and, and have um, a chance to be able to show that, I think uh, we are very grateful for that. Um, and not only us, but any company out there who's trying to make a difference should feel the same way. Now, secondly, you see Cody judges. They are, they are amazing set of people. They have done um, quite a bit of, they have, they, have, they have done their time. They know what they're talking about. So having them looking at your product and, and suggesting and giving you a feedback, that itself is a word. In, in, in itself is an award to us. And finally, seeing all of this validated by SIIA member as well as Cody judges, and they basically telling us we seem to be on the right path. Uh, it, it motivates our team. If there were, there were any self-doubt, that kind of goes away. It inspires us to do harder, do more work, and do better every year. Um, and it goes a long way to let, let us build a really good team. Um, and, and, and finally, it shows in our financial results. We doubled our revenue in the last three years. We started with 75 schools in 2015. We repeated that at another 75 schools in 2016. And this year, knock on wood, looks a lot better. So, so, so there's a lot to be thankful for. Let me just say that, and I, we are. Well, congratulations, um, de definitely well earned. 
Manish, thank you so much for your time with us today. For more information on Youth Certify and SIA, please visit our websites and stay tuned for next week's SIA Tech Chat.